of underground coal mining technology mn2102 to this lecture lecture number 2 on 10th january 2022 in this typical omicron period uh, I, i am sure you are taking all precautions again is this covid 19 20 21 22 let us not go into 23 uh, now let me know before starting the class uh i am sharing my screen whether you are able to see the screen you just tell me then i will start yes. the class yes, sir. okay yes. right so uh let me also uh we will take attendance after 30 minutes don't worry right <clears throat> welcome uh, again my beloved students of underground coal mining methods mn2102 uh now we started recording this so that those who could not join they can also utilize uh, this recorded version uh, which is also converted into youtube links by your group of cr and other students uh, so that those who are not having good connectivity they can get this classes and they can interact with me through phone 9938303259 or sjayanthu@nitrkl.ac.in even if they are in our country or elsewhere they can deal with this and our ultimate aim is to understand the best way underground coal mining methods and you should contribute your best to our atmanirbhar bharat make india on this so uh, already we have seen in the last class our uh, uh, course uh, contents i mean the syllabus and uh, regarding the ta tra, our uh, uh, marks to be given right Uh, how it is divided the sub components are also supposed to be announced you know very well my beloved students uh, that in the beginning we announce so that uh, you will take care of it and uh, it will help in learning more in this distance mode of online teaching learning process through some assignments or whatever it is uh, so that physically we could not meet here uh, don't worry for that so there is an extract from the class 7.2.c of our underground economic uh, not underground this underground coal mining is there at our undergraduate academic regulations of our temple of knowledge national institute of technology raurkela india we framed some regulations passed through our senate beloved senate to help you to learn more and also evaluate properly so that our sincere students are impartially given judgment on their learning and skill development capabilities so that they will be useful for india and elsewhere as far as underground coal mining methods are concerned so here the extract from that is for assigning the marks in teachers assessment ta these are the 20 marks are there for this and 30 marks is the mid semester examination and 50 marks is for like a panch pandav i hope you are able to see five fingers so 50 marks for our end semester examination and of course uh, some people uh, some students in the previous years they could not deserve to be passed so but i i expect with your dedication sincerity hard work you will definitely deserve uh, and earn the marks e a r m earn the marks with your capabilities and skill development what you could do in this semester in our teaching learning process and uh, here uh, performance in home assignments class tests tutorials viva ocr quiz are to be considered for that we will be doing uh, um, all these things we will be doing assignments uh, one and two and the class tests also we will conduct of course tutorials and all as a part of our assignment you will be preparing a 10 page in the international journal format on the uh, topic of your interest as i told you in the beginning in the first lecture itself that will serve as a tutorial of course we will have extra classes also if you have any doubts my beloved students then why we will say of course in the classes itself there will be some questions asked to you somewhere written questions in the slides itself somewhere asked just like that and you will be telling your name and then giving the answer and all those things are considered and already i told you i have made 
a very uh, what is this concept bike running bike right a continuous evaluation is being done based on your ucm you can see here ucm right so i will be maintaining all this record every day what uh, was start and uh, what was the response of the students and that is considered in the tmrs and uh, it is recommended that at least two class tests for four credit theory courses and for us it is a three credit course still we conduct two class tests and one class test for three credit theory courses are to be conducted for a subject right it is at least two class tests so we conduct for three credit our ucm underground coal mining of uh, mn2102 two class tests we will conduct and two assignments will be there in addition to take home assignments because now you are there at home living with your living guards your parents i am sure you can do wonderful assignments without any problem and your mummy will be giving a very good food and papa will be providing all facilities i am sure about that if you have any problem you talk to our faculty advisor here they are like your garden at nit raukela and class quizzes will be there during our class itself and those are evaluated at the end of the class that's what is a continuous evaluation which we apprehend or which we have been planning and have been implementing not only now in nep 2020 but since 2006 when i took over as a professor here after 20 years as a scientist in csr and ministry with 2 years experience in the industries in a large underground open car underground mines of this coal mines what i am teaching you my beloved students the weights of different sub components of ta may be announced to the students by the teacher at the beginning of the semester that's what i am doing now pointing to you my beloved students of mn2102 now announcement is like this <clears throat> announcement of the weights of different sub components of teacher assessment for this spring uh, this number of course was something wrong in this don't worry for this 6142 is an, another course uh, for us it is a 2102 and uh, let let me change here itself why to have that so this is our 2102 codes we are doing this then yes so here what we do is i have divided this and we have been i have been following this and it was highly appreciated by our students now some of our students already they reached up to the general manager level and in different companies very leading positions in india and elsewhere in other countries also taking up different roles with so many doctorates and so many people they used to appreciate this and if you want any change that's what i want a learning based education not just teaching based so uh, this is what i propose and you can also request for any change if you wish otherwise it was highly appreciated by your seniors batches since 2006 before our nep 2020 was implemented for which i am a chairman for implementation of nep 2020 for mining in nit raukela and here 20 marks are there for class test quiz which we decide on around 2021st day of your online classes we will be doing that that 21st day will be coming on uh, of course 21st uh, 20th 20th of uh, you can see what i have already marked here 20th of uh, february so we may be doing that class test 1 and then uh, class test 2 depending on the covid situations i hope uh, if this omicron with the plavanava samachara which is coming next that, that may solve all the problems this is a meaning of in sanskrit i am not teaching sanskrit to you but in nep 2020 we have to teach even in the language which is understood by our beloved students uh, now another home assignment is 30 marks which is a preparation and submission of technical paper through email if you are there in the covid there otherwise you will be submitting here in international journal format on assigned topic from syllabus individually you will do that and it is not assigned you have to change little bit here that is a selected topic the selection should be from you my beloved students that is a assigned oblique selected that is you are selecting the topic based on your interest that's what we used to do and uh, 
that you will be submitting by 25th day. The 25th day of the class will be on 4th. What is that? 4th March. You must have seen here. This is what your calendar of your class in the running by. Right now, assignment 2 will be, as I said, something like uh, that. There is a purpose for this. The purpose of this assignment one is you should learn to identify out of the given opportunities for you, right? That skill you should, you should acquire by the end of this semester, at least from my side, that you should be able to select the topic of your interest from the total course or total problems in India, elsewhere, whatever it is. For us, the syllabus is our problem now, right? Then you have to select your interesting topic from that, and then that will be assigned to you as an assignment. And on that, you will be preparing in an international general format about 10 pages that paper in that. And if those papers, I will be providing a lot of materials to you. Don't worry for that, my beloved students of underground coal mining based on my limited experience of 35 years. I will be giving you a lot of information depending on your interest. Now, the second part of the assignment, 30 marks, is whatever you have prepared, you should also have that much confidence to present to the world. So for us, the world is our class. So to your colleague peer groups, you should present for about 10 minutes through your PPT, whatever you prepare, and that will be given 30 marks. So this is the <coughs> announcement what I am making you on the weights of different subcomponents of teacher assessment on the spring 2021 for our subject underground coal mining 2102. This is wonderful, uh, 2021. There are the numbers combination you can do here and there. You will be happy to do wonderful assignments and I hope you will be very happy to do that. And of course, uh, these are all your students. I have given the names. For example, Suraj Das may be interested in uh, support system or may be interested in uh, 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 long wall mining or some Raj Hans Kumar of 120MN0459 may be interested in long wall mining related. All right. And Swarup Patnai of 120MN0559 of 25 serial number in your list of registered students may be interested in special mining methods, thick seam mining methods. In that way, when you see the last student here, 59, last but not the least, right, uh, may be interested, right? Even our Mahatma Gandhi was also one of the last, right? Uh, so don't worry, last is not the least, maybe important one. So Deepak Vaishav may be interested, uh, that is 720MN1048, may be interested in uh, thin seam mining, very thin seam mining, or a mining in highly disturbed zones, or methods of mining, or support designs, so many things out of the syllabus, not out of the syllabus, from the syllabus, right? Okay, so in that way, now, uh, okay. In module one, whatever we discussed, I, uh, what I presented at that time, now today we will try to discuss something more on this and some important points. Also, you may note down my beloved students of MN2102. I know very well that you read something about this in the introduction to mining and also that is also named as development of mineral deposits throughout India because I am there in the board of many, many states and many institutions, including IITs and IITs and other PSUs, private institutions in India. So all these, some of these already you read about it, but we are more interested to know in details into as far as our underground coal mining is concerned underground coal mining technology is concerned, underground coal mining methods are concerned and related to this. So in this class, we will be discussing more in details into the development of stratified deposits under that choice of the mine size, methods of entry into that, and then the primary development. Before going further, I would like to ask you something, my beloved students. When it comes to the choice of the mine size, I know you are taught something about it. 
in your previous semesters. What anybody can say about the choice of mine size? What is a mine size generally as far as underground mining is concerned or underground coal mining is concerned? Uh, how you select a mine, mine size? In general, whatever you read about it, what is it generally a mine size? What size of the mind you had so about? Anybody can? Body, yes. yes. Shape. Right. Both oh, thickness and depth. Now, Desk one present. more thing, my beloved students. Pradeep, uh, are you Pradeep? Uh, no, sir. Aryaman. Aryaman. Right. Yes. So, uh, since you are not uh, in the first semester of mining, already you read about terminology about mines, right? And you know some differences in coal mining, metal mining, open cast, underground. So you try to use, I'm, I'm just telling not only to our Aryan or anybody who is from Aryan period, right? But to all, you try to utilize that knowledge, right? So that I can give some more knowledge to you. I need not repeat, reinvent the wheel, it should not happen, right? When we are talking about the coal mining, you should not use the word ore, O-R-E, ore, ore deposits, or VMs, loads, or champion reef, diamond mine, gold mine, right? So you, you take care, don't worry if you make a mistake. So only those who, who do work, they make mistake. Only those who learn more, they make more mistakes. So I appreciate that. But you try to use appropriate terminology so that I need not tell about this any time more so that we can discuss more about our underground coal mining systems. I mean mining methods and mining technology. I hope I am clear, right? Yes, uh, yes please continue, please. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, you are telling something. About size of the mine, what size of mine you know in previous semesters because already you learned something in the previous semesters about the mine mining what is the size of the mine sir as you know that uh, sir my name is Ayush, uh, as you know that uh, the deposit shape is not constantly depends upon the, the various factor of nature and there are two things, reserve and resources. Sir, uh, that depend on the reserves and safety condition, we make the resources and that depend uh, mine size, I guess. Uh, that uh, I think. That, uh, that's right. I have given you one small, uh, this one, just to give you some idea. All right. So, what, what is the size of the mine, whatever you learned about or you understood? So, have you seen a mine which is having around 100 kilometer? Size means now you say some length, width, whatever, right? So in that way, let me say this is a length of the mind, okay? Length of mind, right? So 100 kilometers, 1 kilometer, 10 kilometers, 5 kilometers. What is the size that you are exposed to till now? These are some questions that I wanted to know from you. What is the idea that you have about a mind, the size, right? That is one mine, maybe of 10 kilometers, maybe of 100 kilometers, maybe of 5 kilometers kilometer. length. Sir, on yes. 100 to 5 kilometers. Now you, you should say one by one. Now your name, your name first. This is a continuous Sir, evaluation process that I follow. Sir, you tell the name, otherwise our CR will coordinate. At a time only one. What is the size of the mind that you have in your idea or in your mind concept? Through your previous semester, what you learned in introduction to mining, development of mineral deposits. Achha, what, is the, what is that course you learned? Mining geology already you learned about it, right? Yes, no? Yes, yes, sir. Right. Then number two is development of mineral deposits or introduction to mining. Which one you learned? Yes, sir. Mind development, sir. Mind development, sir. Mind okay. development. Very good. So, in mind development, 
now you learned about it so what is the size of the mind how much size so you anticipated or you have the concept in your mind so 1 km 1 km 1 km sir 5 km no no you should tell your name sir pranav kumar mishra pranav 1 km yes uh, anybody else sir aryaman 5 km 5 km no name name sir 5 your name aryaman aryaman 5 km okay so this is you want to the length of the mind no, it's all right that question is over this is the length of the mind or the width of the mind Along dip direction or along strike direction? Sir, length. Yes, sir, length. That is along strike direction. Along strike direction, yes, sir. Okay. Then along dip direction, will it be less or more? Sir, sir less. Ah, uh, why? Why it is less? Any idea? Sir, because all same for forming seams. So first you should say one okay. name, and others will not stop. Surya Kant, right? Why it is less along the dip direction, sir? Because the coal coals are found in different strata of seams, so of generally seams are of two to five meters, so uh, the depth will not be much greater than that length of the mine. Right. Anything more? Anybody want to add that? Any anything more? Ah, now I am showing you one simple example. A plan of a mine. This is a total mine. Are you able to see this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So this is about three kilometers. This is a boundary of the mine. Green color. Are you able to see this green? I, I am showing through my uh, cursor. Right. So yeah. this may be around three to four kilometers along the strike direct. This is right. And along this deep direction like this. Right. And uh, this is. It may be around two to three kilometers. Take it. This is what is in general the size of mine uh, taken. But there are so many reasons why that size of the mine is selected like that, right? So here now it is 9:32. I think our CR uh, may be thinking about since we started late by two three minutes, so he is not taking break. But after 30 minutes, generally we have to break for any questions, queries, uh, and any doubts. Take it, CR. So yes, sir, uh, yes. I will be breaking for one two minutes here, showing this mine. Now you have seen a mine how it appears, and this is how it is developed, right? Developed into different. Uh, uh, already uh, this is into blasting gallery panels, of course, right? So like this, I have hundreds of mines data with me, investigations conducted by us uh, as a scientist of CMRS, CMRI, Simfar, R and IRM. Are as a professor here. We have done more than under 120 projects, so I have more than 100 mines data with me, so I can show you n number of examples. But I wish you should understand that is very important, my beloved students. There may be a lot of knowledge in the website, but unless you understand and implement, that is all goes to the dustbin. That is useless. Okay, right. So here I am breaking just now, and then we will resume back. If you have any doubts, my beloved students. Meanwhile, I will take attendance here. Right. Let me take attendance. Uh, now, if you have any doubts, you ask me. Right. Any doubts? I yes, took sir. my attendance. It is over. If I have. Uh, one two minutes. If you are unable to utilize, then I can show you some beautiful photographs of underground mines because all sir, our underground sir, mines are very beautiful. Yes, sir. Ah, yes. So it is, so it is compulsory to uh, standardize a mines mine uh, area or mine length, width, and dimension. Very, very But, good uh, question. Ah, we know that from the previous semester uh, that um, the deposit that depends on deposit and reserve and resources. Exactly. So how right. that is standardized or what? Very yeah. nice, very nice question. Uh, I will tell you. Uh, before that, any any other 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 questions? Our eyes asked a very good question. Before I explain further, uh, any other questions? Sir, I want to add something sir, in mine size. Yes. Special right. 
yes so, <clears throat> the mind size is not we are going to take as a length or width it is it is based on a radius means radius of 5 kilometers or 5 10 kilometers and basically the depth of the mines is uh, de depends upon the how how the company is going to take its profit through it if if it is taking profit as in a huge amount then it can access up it can access very deep but uh, if uh, if it is uh, going through little bit profit then uh, it's uh, it is not going through that deep so that uh, uh, its economical balance should be there Hmm. Any anybody want to say anything? So I, I am typing here. Ayush asked a nice question. Why standardization of this mine size of only this much size, that much size? Okay. And uh, and anybody anybody else any question? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, I am Aryaman. Uh, so I wanted to uh, ask. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sir. Right, Aravind question. Uh, yes, sir. Aravind. Yes. Sir. yes. Hmm. Ask your so question, sir, I'm typing here. Right. Yes, sir. So in case of hmm. terminologies, you said that oh, we do not use old body shape or uh, old thickness. So in place of that, what we will use? I wanted to ask that. No, no. Once again, you ask me. Uh, sir, in terminologies, so huh. you said that we don't use old body shape or old, old thickness. Right. Um, those in, in places, what we will. Uh, right. So that is related to terminology. Okay. Yes, and okay. So it's Aryaman. It is not Aravin. No, sir. Aryaman. Yes, sir. So Arya Mara Kya Kanamaji. So Hallo Aravin. Arya. Arya two. Yes. So uh, now coming to the question one, right? I am taking one second attendance, then I made it right. So these are the Questions asked nicely by our beloved students. And here, number one is, why standardization of this mine size? Now you just imagine, a mine, for that matter, a deposit can be, uh, now coming to our coal mines, let us not think about metal mines now. Coming to the coal mines, our coal mines are major deposition in India, whatever we have, the deposits are of, uh, sedimentary origin right uh, from the plants millions of years ago yeah, you know now we have more than 300 uh, billion tons of coal available in india so you need not worry for that right and uh, when it is uh, suppose there may be uh, at a length like a godavari valley coal field right when you go to ramagundam area okay or it can be in uh, jeria coal field Raniganj coal field in Dhanbad, different areas, okay, where we have GDK 8 incline, 7 incline, 6 incline, 5 incline, 9 incline, 11 incline. All this is a continuity of the strata, continuity, right? It is extending for so many kilometers. Now you just imagine, I could have, even since it is a continuity of our formation also, of course, there may be some discontinuities with faults, right? and where that might have been thrown down, thrown up by 100 meter, 200 meter. So there is no other way. You have to have a, this mine, which is thrown down by 200 meter or 300 meter, right? I should extract it by underground mine, maybe GDK 11 or Adriala block, whatever. And then, which is on the upper side of the fault, then that deposit I might be extracting by open cast mining or otherwise some other mine like GDK 9 incline, 10 incline, whatever, right? Or 10A, 10B, whatever, right? So here what is happening? Now, when you open a mine, no doubt, as I am also addressing others' uh, curiosity also here, right? No doubt that all depends on the deposit, okay? And uh, for planning, that planning issues, now I am not teaching you at, at present, right? Which I have been teaching since 2006 on planning and doing so many planning works for different industries, where we have to consider, number one, the major parameter here is, now you cannot manage, this is a mine manager. Mines should be managed, and mine management, that is possible only in the limited area. I cannot manage 
I cannot even supply the materials. I cannot provide that type of communication system. Even I cannot provide any system of transporting my persons or my materials beyond certain distance within a period of eight hour shift, right? I should get the work done by my, my miners, right? A very simple as a layman, anybody can understand, including our Ayush, Arya, whatever, whoever, right? Where I should be able to manage the system and I should provide people to work and my person should reach the working phase. When you are talking about the underground mines, now my person should reach at least within half an hour, if not one hour, should reach to the working phase. Suppose if my mine is 10 kilometers long, right? If my person, even a shaft, is located in the middle, now I, my person should travel for five kilometers. You can imagine a situation where there was no, even a man, manual, uh, it was only traditional, conventional system. Person should walk the, through the walkway, right? Man way. There is nothing else then how much time it takes to reach the, the working phase to work till the time he will carry his uh, tiffin box, right? So when he starts taking his attendance, attendance is going to end. I think in NEP 2020, we should teach in the language which is known to our beloved students. Of course, I cannot teach in Odia, but I can teach in Telugu, in the English as well, right? So here, uh, this is a very, very important point, my beloved students of underground coal mining, MN2102, that mine size should be in such a way, you can note down somewhere now, uh, everybody, that number one, our person should reach in time, right? And I should be able to manage that mine, providing all the facilities. And number three, of course, all other things follows later, right? Now, I should have that much of deposit coal inside that mine area, mine take, mine lease area. This is the way how we select. And then, as far as possible, that should be noted, underlined, bold, italic, red, whatever you like, that should be underlined, where as far as possible, uniform technology should be able to be applied in that geomining conditions when that mine is bound by some faults. Now I select that mine, which is reasonably can be extracted by some particular method of mining in that mine area. Now, very simple example, my beloved students of underground coal mining methods, that suppose there is a mine, right? You just imagine this is your coal. Uh, this is a coal, right? Black color, na? right? Coal. Now, there is a fault, fault claim. Now in one mine, this side it is a one mine, this side another mine. And from here, now you can see, this is a fault from here like this. And this was thrown down, thrown down. Again, again you are coal mining, now here, this deposit is thrown down, same deposit, it was thrown down by 200, 300 meters. Now, obviously, I will not select the mine size where this fault also includes in the mine. I hope you understood. This will be another mine. This will be another mine, right? That this here, I will be using a method of long wall, whatever. It is total depth is 600 meter, 700 meter, whatever, right? And here, this may be, uh, even I may be using if it is exposed to the surface, outcropping at less depth, in crop, right, whatever. Then in cropping at 10 meter, 20 meter, 30 meter, or otherwise outcropping exposed to surface, I may be extracting this area by open cast mining, or if it is also in crop by 100 meter, and this is at 600 meter, this I will select as a different mine, and on the other side of the fault, I will select as a different mine, right? So these are some of the reasons why we standardize the mine size. Ayush, are you uh, able to understand? Ayush, should respond. Yes, sir. Very good. Arya, coming to overbody, if you have any doubts, you can ask. 
you should not go with doubt. That is the reason why in the beginning I have shown you our beautiful Einstein with long hair. Ladki jaisa hair, ठीक है? आप लोग इतना hair नहीं रखना, ऐसे military cutting करके रखना. Now, Arya, as you asked about the terminology, this terminology is even even I have written a wrong spelling here. Don't worry for that. So, we have framed. I mean, not we means internationally people adopted some type of terminology so to have uniform way of understanding the subject giving knowledge to others we selected some type of terminology so we have to follow that very simple so ore body that word is used for metal mines and then if it is a coal that is a coal seams right again i am not telling you about uh, sedimentary formation only should be given this that no even sedimentary formation where even if it is a, a limestone limestone can be sedimentary formation or it can also be metamorphic rock right so there we are not calling it as a limestone seam we are calling it as a limestone ore right so this is a difference okay uh, arya are you able to understand yes sir very good so shall i uh, if there are any other doubts we will take up 5 uh, minutes before closing this lecture Le that consists of doubt session 2 3 minutes and then about 2 minutes summarizing what you learned how much skills you developed and of course as a part of it your continuous evaluation already you understood how we i am doing it and how we did it since 2006 here with my little experience of 35 years my beloved students right now continuing with this development of coal deposits already you learned about this right and about that size already you have known and uh, one more thing yesterday itself i have sent you my beloved students of underground coal mining some of the materials that material is a part of material what we developed as a national mission project uh, along with iit karakpur some of my junior scientists who were working with me in cmrs uh, and we did it uh, iit karakpur and nit raurkela i am there with them where coal coal mining technology that material was prepared by us and some part of that i have sent to you my beloved students of underground coal mining i hope uh, have you received this yes no i sent yesterday some material maybe yes. a part of very good that was a part yes. of national mission project on e learning uh, along with iit karakpur uh, some of already i told you some of my junior scientists who are working with me now at iit karakpur we together we developed all that uh, and reviewed all that some of the material already i have tried to bring to you my beloved students and uh, that is with the aim that you should become the best underground mining engineers in india especially for coal mines because underground coal mining needs lot of innovative methods to be developed okay now coming to when when anybody of course we can discuss in different forms starting from size of the mine we discussed little uh, today uh, other issues we will be discussing meanwhile i would like to give you some of this uh, glimpse of whatever you learned before and more particular about uh, what we should understand as far as our this semester is concerned already you learned about this i know boden pillar method right and uh, everybody knows right this boden pillar method this involves series of narrow headings in the seam parallel to each other and connection of these that is the reason why board and pillar and board is nothing but your gallery right or the opening whatever the name you give and uh, that's what arya uh, the terminology given that's what we follow okay arya you understood right then connection of these parallel and cross headings forms a coal block having headings on all sides you know very well and i have shown you one typical mine plan also like that i will be showing you so many but all that depending on your interest my beloved students these headings we will not teach to those who are not interested okay now these headings are called gallery and the coal block formed is called pillar that is the reason why we call this method as a board and pillar or gallery and pillar and uh, there is a difference of board and pillar and room and pillar method that 
uh, we will be asking you. That will be a next question to you, my beloved student. You prepare for it and tell me after 10 minutes. What is the difference between a board and pillar and room and pillar? Because that is the terminology given, like uh, our nicely asked by Arya. Okay. Now, the pillars are usually square or rectangular in shape. And of course, we also have rhombus shaped pillars and uh, it is to favor the mechanization. Now here I can give you so many examples, you note down some of the names where at present we are doing a lot of investigations. Rhombus shaped pillar where, where they are, right? You note down in KTK5 mine, Bhopalapalli area, okay? KTK5, because I will be giving you a lot of examples. You should note down, especially the names of that mines also, whenever I give you, and if you get some doubts, you can ask me, because I wish that my beloved students should become Atmanirvar, Skill India, part of Make India, understanding our problems of India, right? Okay, so KTK5 incline, Bhupala Pelli area, the rhombus shaped pillars we have. Otherwise, square or rectangular, now you can take any names, GDK5, GDK11 incline, GDK10 incline, GDK8 incline, 8 incline is closed now, closed, right? Then 21 incline, VK7 incline, PVK mine, so many. All these studies I will show ah, when it comes to Singarini, right? In WCL mine, Thansi mine, right? Rajur mines, right? And in Southeastern Coldfield, Chirimiri mine, Bartunga Hill, mine name is that, Anjan Hill, right? Mine, uh, Chirimiri Colliery, there are so many mines. Chercha mine, Chercha Colliery, right? In Southeastern. And in BCCL mine, where they are rectangular pillars, okay? Rhombus pillar, I told you, rectangular. R square. Okay. In BCCL, East Katras, right? Amlabar, Shasnala, there are so many mines. And I am giving you some names which are very, very uh, notorious for some of the disasters which took place in those mines. That also I will discuss with you. Okay. Whenever you are more interested in that. Okay. A working unit called panel or district consists of a number of pillars. Now you know very well what is the name of the district and other things. Right? The district is not your district of Telangana or the, your district of Odisha or Taliban, but it is not in Pakistan. But this is a mine anywhere in the world. No barriers, no barriers of country, state, whatever it is, or continents. So that is called a panel where, and again, why, why it should be 20 pillar, 30 pillar, 40 pillar, all those things you know very well. We will be discussing, of course, in details of that also, and gallery surrounding it, the stage is called development stage. And in this development also, there is a primary development and secondary development, you know down that, right? Many things I might have not included in this, right? So, but you should note down those things. And if you are not understood, then you can ask the doubts. The primary development, it can be a secondary development, whatever. Then the next stage involves, then later we are extracting that. Okay, here I want you to note down some names, right? Uh, already I have given you the references uh, with whom I was working closely in many projects, in many states, in many industries of uh, whatever, right? Maharatna, whatever Ratna companies. Okay, Professor S.P. Mathur, you note down. Professor R.D. Singh, Dr. T.N. Singh, okay? You have been muted. Sir, you are muted, sir. So your voice isn't coming. Sir, you are muted. Uh, are, are, you, are you able to hear my voice now? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Very good. Huh? There may be some problem in connectivity. Don't worry. But CR is there to take care. Saswat. Uh, permanent care. He can do it. I made him, I think, uh, owner and he can... Mute anybody, unmute anybody. Okay, right. Now, continuing with, uh, without taking much time, uh, here, the next stage is your extraction of that. And there are so many methods for this extraction, okay? This, whatever pillars form, you are extracting that, so de-pillaring, right? So this is all very simple, my beloved students. I should tell you in this D, D, adding D, 
uh, in general for your benefit, for the benefit of society, I should tell you. So uh, generally, Almighty made us to live with very ease, but we are not happy with whatever is given to you by the society, by the nature, by the Mother Earth, whatever. And we started adding suffix, prefix, and we added DE. Okay. So with ease, if you add DE, what will happen? See that? You are there to do everything with ease. E A S E, ease, right? And now you added prefix D, everything everywhere D D D, right? Then what will happen? All disease starts. So that's what happened. Or oh, you are Omicron, whatever, right? Okay, take it light, right? So the process of deep living means now you are not happy with keeping that pillars for a long time because we want that pillar coal also to be extracted. So we deep pillar it. So there are so many things, uh, so many methods. And all those things definitely we will be discussing right in our future courses. I mean, future classes, right? Now it is 9.56. I think our CR may be waiting to remind me. Uh, you need not wait. When time comes, he should remind me. Okay, CR. If not okay. first CR, second CR should be ready. One with AK-47, next with AK-56. Right. Uh, now, in AK-46, 57. So generally, we may be able to get even 60% or 70%, getting 80% recovery also is very, very, very uh, uh, difficult uh, from any depillaring panels with the conventional systems. And whatever I have written here, 80% of total production is around 20%. We will be getting by development itself, 15 to 20%, depending on the size of the pillar and all those things. And then from a depillaring panel, whatever I, I was telling you, and other part of it from this slide we will be discussing in the next class. I am closing at this uh, now, my beloved students. Now we will go to the next. Before going to the next, let me make a line. That is up to, uh, what is the date today? Today is 10th January, we discussed up to this. So this will be there. And now any doubts? Now it is 9.57. One minute more we can discuss. I asked some question. Anybody can answer telling their name. Otherwise, no problem. Uh, now, let us go to summary. Who is ready to summarize? My beloved students. Who is ready to summarize what they learned today? Otherwise, I consider that nothing is understood by anybody. No skill improved and uh, Nobody got any TMRs today in our online teaching, learning process and evaluation process, continuous evaluation process. Okay. Agam, Saswata, uh, yes, sir. Hello. Rishabh, Pranav, Ayush, uh, Suryakant. These are the names I could see. Yes, sir. Sambi. Okay. Uh, who is ready to? summarize today's class. Uh, meanwhile, I am taking your attendance. Okay, your attendance over. Sir, myself, Surya Khan. Very good. Continue. Yes, yes, sir. Sir, we started with uh, the what is oversize. We uh, see a lot of things and maps about oversize and what then the next question is come. Why we def there is a oversize because there are uh, even there are 10 to 15 kilometer long war sim, uh, coal sim, but we why decide the average size of mines by three factors like our person can move from one place, one point to another point in the mine, or uh, that ore deposits are in uniform distributions, or like third point that our tech uniform technology should be used, not like the false comms. So we should be. Uh, making difficult us to manage to deposit. Sir, then we talk about development and development of the coal deposit. One is board pillar method, then it's working units and what is panels and districts. And some of the examples like KTK, 5 Gopal pole area and GTK in nine inclines. Yes, sir. So this is what our Surya has thrown by his name itself, he has thrown a very good light, but uh, today there is no sunlight, right? It is very cold. 
So nicely summarized. Uh, today, what we have done is we tried to see as a part of module one, and along with that, going back, you know, we announced the total weights of different subcomponents of the teacher's assessment, along with the extract from the class 7.2C of our undergraduate academic regulations of our Temple National Institute of Technology, Rao Kela, and uh, so that now everybody will be thinking about their topics of interest in as taken to be taken as assignments. And by the end of this week, they will be giving their assignment topics. We will decide and we will finalize. And other uh, today up to this uh, we discussed and we continue with the applications of this modern pillar, whatever, and then size of the mind uh, about that we discussed. Again, other issues which were already taught to you a little bit. That's why I, I want to give a little less time on that instead of reinventing the wheel uh, of uh, whatever you learned about it before. Uh, with this today, and now I think I can close for today. We should not enter into next uh, class because now it is 10. Now, in my Buddha watch, I 10. Your young watch may be showing the same thing. If watch is running right punctually. Now, uh, before stopping, uh, you know very well uh, what to say before stopping the class. Jaihin, sir. Very good. Jaihin, Jai Bharat. And uh, I'm sure Jai 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 you will be, you will Jai Jai be having that uh, learning Jai 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 to develop new methods of underground coal mining. Yes. Uh, if any doubts, sir, you can sir. write to me, ask me anytime through mobile, through WhatsApp group. Already we have a WhatsApp group. Okay. In double nine three eight three zero three two five nine, and our email already there with you. That is S J A Y A N T H U at the rate N I T R K L dot A C dot in. I hope you must have been seeing this uh, also as a captions. And now with this for today, I am closing and I am stopping recording. Take care, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. I am stopping recording.